Hi, in this short video, I will show you how you can use the exam view test generator in order to make an online test. So, first of all, this is the Elevate Science for Grade 2. This is your own account. So, click here on Tools and have access to the Assessment Download Center. Scroll down to download Grade 2 exam view. All right, that's the software. You need to download that first and I'm going to download it here. Now it's complete. I will get the file. It's over here. Double click it, open, and then click here on setup. And then you need to install it. I have installed the exam view before. So it will only export the test bank. Okay, I'm going to click here, complete. So just a very few seconds and the exam view is going to be installed over your system. That's it. Okay, so I will click to show you here. You will find the three icons for the test generator. Double click on the exam view test generator here. You need to create your own account. That's very easy. It's not going to be taking very long. After the creation, after you create your own account, you need to enter your credentials here, username and password, or the email and password. Here we go. Now it's opening. After opening, you need to create your own test. You can simply create here using the test wizard. Give it a title. The title I previously created here, I called it Grade 2 Online Test Trial. I'm going to create it from scratch with you. And all you need to do is to scroll down until you reach the, uh, the program. It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, the Elevate Science here. Yes, Savas Elevate Science, great too. I'm gonna click Open. And of course, I can create my own. I can add my own questions. Uh, so let's suppose that changing matter, this is the, uh, the topic. I think that your topic is, uh, the topic that I noticed uh, was Earth is Water and Land. Double click on it and hit Next. How many questions? You can see here that they are eight questions. I, I will select them all. Click Next, Finish. Now the test has been created. Now, the point about changing this into an online exam is very, very simple. See here, go to File, click on the file, and go to Export, go to HTML, click on it, and now you have the privilege, you have the option whether to create it as a study guide. If you want your students to use it as a study guide for them, you can show them the rationale, show the feedback, and show the reference where exactly the, in the book those parts or those questions are, uh, are taking from or are recycling or highlighting which areas. And here I can export it as a test and I can give my students immediate feedback on their scores if I check this here. If you don't want it, of course, you can uncheck it. And all you need to do is to type in, enter your, uh, your formal name and your email address, the email you want to receive your students' scores in and hit OK. Now the system will ask you where you want to save this. I created the folder on my desktop. I called it exam view exported files and I need to give it another name here. All right. That's the file name. I'm, I'm going to call it grade two online test trial and I will hit save. Very few seconds and you will see that these are the files I just created. Okay. So here is the online test. Double click on it and it will open. And the students now can have access to select what are the correct answers or what are their responses. 
see here. All right. So like that, of course, you can read aloud for your students because they are very young learners and they need that type of support. Okay. And definitely every student must complete here with their names and with their email. Let's suppose that these are uh, the credentials. These are must. ID is not important, right? So the, uh, the areas or the fields that are must here are names and emails. Finally, when students complete that, let's suppose that they forgot to fill here or to select in question eight. You will see that the system is giving them a warning. That's, that's the one that you see here, all right? So you haven't answered one of the questions, pay attention. So students can click at cancel and return back to complete this. And finally, click here, grade and submit. With that done, you will see that students get immediately their, um, their, their response here, get the, their feedback on their scores. And uh, definitely, this is going to be sent to my email. I'm going to show you here quickly how it looks like in my email. That's it. See here? Immediately, it's being sent to me. And here we go. You can see here which question your students have answered correctly and which uh, have not been answered correctly. All right. Of course, you can uh, you can take these files and you can um, distribute them among the uh, the, the lab. Uh, in the, in, the, in the computer lab, I mean, you send these files or you put these files uh, on the computers in the computer lab and you can make it completely online. I hope that this very short video helped you uh, in building that, that type of, you know, I'm, I, in supporting your students. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.